Hi, my name is Margo. I am the program coordinator at Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation, and this short video is going to help you um, get yourself set up to apply to our Tree for Me grants. Um, so what you're going to do is, uh, once you've visited our treeforme.ca webpage, um, and if you read all of this content, uh, when you're ready to apply, you'll just scroll all the way down, click Apply Here. This will send you to our SurveyMonkey Apply software. Uh, this is a software we use for all grants. Um, you'll notice that when you land here, there's no Apply Now button. It says Open to Organizations. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up as an organization. So I've clicked Register. Um, you have the option to register as an individual or to register as an organization. Um, you can go ahead and register as an, as an individual, but you'll have to set yourself up as an organization afterwards. So I'm going to skip that part. I'll go right to register as an organization. Um, so I'll just make up a name here. We'll call myself Red Folk. Gmail. Make myself a password. And I'll confirm that password. And of course, I am not a robot. And create account. All right, and here's where I'm going to set up my organization. So I'm going to call my organization Red Oaks of Toronto. Um, all of this stuff is optional. Um, I'll leave it empty for now, but I do suggest when you set up an organization to put all of this information in, and then that's automatically fed into your application. Uh, but you can do it later, so I will do that later, and I will continue on. So now when I click Continue to Site, I see I have no applications. Um, I will send myself a verification link, but now I can go to View Programs. Um, once I've done that, I see there are now are two programs available to me. I'll click Tree for Me. And now you see that the Apply button is now available to me. If I had chosen uh, to register as an individual, I would have put Red Oak, and I see Red Oak up here. But instead of seeing Red Oaks of Toronto here, I would just see Red Oak. Um, if you skip that step and you did not register as an organization, uh, it's very simple to go back and change that. You just go to My Account, scroll down to the bottom, and I can choose set up an organization. Um, and then once I've done that, I would see Red Oaks of Toronto here. And I can toggle between my individual account as well as my organization account. Um, so how do we add our colleagues to help, um, to help us out with our application? Um, so I'm just going to save, always save everything as you go. That's just a general um, good practice to do. And now I'm going to go to my applications. I'm sure there was a simpler way to get back to here. All right, so now I'm in the application. I see that I have a bunch of tasks I need to complete. But before I do that, I want to add members of an organization. So I can click here. And there's nothing there to display. So what I have to do is I have to go to Manage Organization. Um, I can upload our logo here. Great. Um, and up here, I see members. So I'm going to add a member. Let's say we need a red maple. My friend Red Maple is going to come. So do red maple now.com. And I'm going to let them know. I can include a custom message if I want to. And add. Now, when I go back to my applications, I see I have it here. I see I have zero of four tasks complete. I can go back in. I can go back to add member or team. And there's my team member. I'll add them. And now when Red Maple logs in, they can come in and see the application and help collaborate. Um, you can add as many members or as many teams as you would like. Um, this is a really handy tool when you go to apply for larger grants or if you are the project coordinator but you're not the signing authority then you can start your application and have your signing authority log in double check all of your work give their stamp of approval and then on you go 
Um, if you have any problems with the software, uh, the best, quickest solution is to use this information icon up here. Um, SurveyMonkey has great FAQs. They have really great customer support. So if you're having a technical issue, please use this first. Uh, if it's a non-technical issue and it's a question about um, the question and the application form itself, please get in touch with a Toronto Parks and Trees staff member. Um, you can email info at tptf.ca or you can email me directly um, and my email is on the website. Thank you so much. Thank you for your interest in applying and we hope to hear from you soon.